is the death cure by name Sasha. But in this video, I will not only be reviewing really the death cure, I will also be doing the whole Maze Runner trilogy. So I'm going to be talking about the Maze Runner, the Scorch Trials, and also the Death Cure. So all three of these books. They are all by James Dashner and I will tell you what I think about all of them. Alright so um and this is I'm gonna say it's not very spoiler free so if you haven't read these I would not recommend watching this. I'll put a spoiler thing here. Anyway the first one I thought was amazing. It was a great book. Um we were introduced to Thomas who wakes up not knowing where he is in some sort of box contraption and wakes up with all these random guys who call themselves the Gladers. And pretty much he learns that he is in a maze and um, or just in this place and these people run mazes and they come back every night before the gate shut down and it's just some big mystery and they don't understand, their, they don't know their past, they don't know their last names, they just know what's there and what is given to them. So this whole book is pretty much finding about what the maze really is and how to escape it and how to get out and figure out some answers. Um, so this book was amazing. The, a very, very good start to the trilogy, I thought. It just kept me on my toes. I literally devoured it in a couple of days and I really enjoyed it. I gave this one a 5 out of 5 and I firmly believe that it deserves that because it was such a good book. Like, I just can't, I really recommend this to anyone. It's just a great adventure book, especially if you're on that, if you're on that Hunger Games High movie for adventure, this is definitely a book to read. It's The Scorch Trials, which also is a great book. So like I said, it's spoiler, so please don't watch if you have not read any of these books. This one takes place pretty much right after where the maze runner left off. So Thomas, they finally get out of the maze, they're like, what's going on? And they wake up and um, his one of, one of his friends, Teresa, is gone and he wakes up the rest of his glitters in a completely different place in like a desert-like scenario. And the Wicked pretty much gives them a thing to do. They said, you know, make it to the end of this desert and we will give you the cure to the sun flare. Is that, that's pretty much called the sun flare disease. So Thomas and his friends are in a wild chase to get there in time. But of course things ensue and they meet new people and crazy things happen and they counter um, what they call um, cranks who have had the sun flare. And pretty much the sun flare pretty much eats away at your brain and so you become crazy and all that stuff. And um, there's so much that happens in this book. I really like it. It wasn't my favorite of the favorite, I would have to say, but it definitely kept me on my toes and very interested. So I also give this one a 5 out of 5. Um, I did enjoy it. Um, there was lots of betrayal in here I wasn't expecting, and it just it kept me going and going and going. So I really like this one. Death Cure by Dave Stashner. And guys, and I'm sorry to say this, but it was a disappointment. I It literally took me all month to read this, and I'm not kidding. I was not really into it at all. I finished it strictly because I knew I should finish it and people wanted to see my review on it. Other than that, I don't, I didn't even really have a desire to finish it. I know as bad as that may seem, and I'm sure people love this book, I just could not get into it. I felt like, like, the same things just kept happening. You didn't know the answer. You had to find out, and it's just like, I was like, oh my gosh, when is this going to end? Like, I just want to figure out some answers and do some stuff. I felt like it was just another wild goose chase of finding out what's really happening with Wicked and what's going on and all this stuff. This one pretty much takes place in the Wicked headquarters and then they escape it, at least um, certain people do, and they flee to another certain place. <laughs> I don't want to give too much away. But, um, and they really tried it. And the ending I thought was good. I thought it was a good ending. It was a good ending to a series. I just felt like it wasn't a very strong last book of a series. I just was not pleased with it and um, yeah I don't know what else more to say about it you guys. I want to give you a good review. I just felt like the same things kept happening and it was just it got boring to me I'll be honest with you. Um, I was just like this it's just it wasn't that great to me. It wasn't a complete disaster either don't get me wrong. I do enjoy the characters in this. I love Thomas. I love Minnow and I love Newt and I'm somewhat okay with the new characters Brennan and George. I'm just not used to them as much as I am the other people. I, I like Teresa too. It's just this book really I was really hoping for a lot more than what it was and I'm sorry to say this but I'm having to only give this book a 3 out of 5 and it breaks my heart to say this because I enjoyed the other books so much and you know maybe James Dasher should you know rewrite it. I don't know but I just want to give you guys an honest opinion on it. Now for the whole series of the should you uh, you know go buy it borrow it or never read it I definitely think you should buy this series for sure it's a good it's a good series to have on your shelf it's just a good series um I don't think you should borrow I, mean, you, I, don't know. 
I don't think you should borrow it. I think you should actually own it. Um, definitely, and I know I said bad things about the desk here, but you should read it, you know, if you have to borrow it, borrow it, but you should definitely read it so you can end the series. But, um, yeah. Um, I'm trying to keep these reviews very short and simple, so hopefully it wasn't too short for you. But anyways, I hope you guys have a great and fabulous day. Bye.